Ooh, I love your toe beans, Toby. That's why you have a perfect name. I think Toby has taken us to the other cats or to his house. Where are we going, Toby? <laughs> He's literally telling me to stop following him. What's wrong, kitty? Oh, he, yeah, he's not in a good mood today. He does not want me to know where he lives. See this? Oh, now you're doing a stop, flop, and roll. Now you're being friendly. Toby has now shown us where he lives. He's shown us his RV. Very nice, kitty. We love it. Here's Lego. He's loving all the love that everybody gave him from coming off of the roof and saying hello that day. Lego, you're so sweet. I'm so sorry for disturbing your sweet sleep. But I had to come give you pets and say thank you for entertaining us. There you go, Lego. Yes. Thank you. Lego definitely passes the pickup test. I love you, Lego. You're so chunky, actually. I don't think I've ever realized that. Okay, this cat's name is Cat, and she's always friendly. You're so gorgeous. You're so beautiful. You're so friendly. Thank you. Thank you, kitty. You're such a beautiful kitty. Hello. Thank you. She's like, you smell like other cats. <laughs> Luca! Hello, kitty. I just saw you. Luca, tell your parents thank you for inviting me to the party. Oh, yes. My kitty cats are loving it outside. They're loving the fresh air. I'm least training them, and it seems to be working well. Now you're dirty, mama. <laughs> well, how do those flowers smell? You're loving this nature, aren't you, kitty? The crazy thing is, is I actually trust them, but I know eventually they would probably try to jump over the fence and then eventually walk around in places they're not supposed to be going, but this is what happens. People just trust their cats and then the cats just end up being indoor-outdoor cats, I guess.